welcome to WMCA. And welcome to WMCA. I'm Aubrey Sanchez. And I'm Aisla Neal. Hey, have you heard about Habitat for Humanity? Of course. I think it is such an amazing opportunity to go out and give back to our community. I know. Let's take a closer look. Habitat for Humanity! My name is Rachel. I'm a site lead with Habitat for Humanity. We are at uh, 1407 North Jordan Street down in the Lower Ninth Ward. We are painting the interior of the house. Um, this house behind me is a double unit which a homeowner will buy. So they will have the opportunity to live in half of the house and rent out the other half of the house to supplement their mortgage payments and allow them to become a homeowner when maybe they otherwise wouldn't have been able to. So my name's Talasia and I'm an AmeriCorps volunteer, so I work with the Habitat for Humanity construction staff. So I like the idea of helping other families, you know, get their own home. But then educational, like I said, I've learned a lot already with the details that goes into residential construction. So a mixture of like educational and then just helping people is nice. I love it. Uh, Mount Carmel brings a great energy. We always, of course, love having Miss Sue here. Uh, keeping everything going, um, all the chaperones are great as well. It's really amazing because, you know, a team of five people painting a house can take days and Mount Carmel's rocking it out and they might be done by lunchtime, what it looks like. My favorite part of my habitat is painting the ceiling. My favorite part was painting the outside. Getting to paint the walls. Fantastic. We've painted inside, outside, inside, outside, corked, wonderful, great. What is your favorite part of Habitat? Holding the ladder for Madeline. <laughs> Earlier this week, MCA students and their grandparents enjoyed Mass and quality time together. We are so grateful for the gift of our MCA grandparents and the ability to celebrate them on Monday. The evil one is influencing you to say, I've been tired of that. I get to spend time with my granddaughter and I get to see some of her friends and the school that she goes to and the great job that Mount Carmel is doing. It brings everybody together. You get to meet a lot of grandparents or see a lot of students that you would not have had the opportunity to do. And it's just a great day for everybody to be together and celebrate Mount Carmel. Throughout the years, Campus Ministry hosts a rosary on Tuesdays after school. Here's a closer look at this long-running Mount Carmel tradition. I'm really thankful that all the clubs come out to the rosary. We have a lot of people here, more than like we used to have. We always have like at least 50 girls come. Um, and even if you come and like you don't think that it means a lot, like the power of prayer is really deep. And I think it just shows you that through Mount Carmel. I think it just really shows the community we have here and like I'm really grateful, I've always been grateful for like the group of people I have to like look towards to and this just shows that awesome community. Community is definitely a way that um, can help your prayer life and just like having like that backbone of like sisterhood here that we have at Mount Carmel, um, you can definitely see that during the rosary we have so many girls that come out. I think it's cool that God set up the, the church but like as human beings like we were created for family. And I always like to see 
how like Jesus like wants to share his mom with us. I think of like when I meet a friend and like the coolest part in my friendship with people is like when you get to meet the parents, right? And so with Our Lady, I feel like I get to experience the heart of Jesus more and it's just a, a sense of peace of like I'm in this family unit, but like I'm not in this alone. Um, I may not have all the answers like black and white, but there is a sense of like peace. That makes sense. <laughs> Is it just me, or do you keep hearing the music down the halls during class? Oh yeah, it's the new music theory elective that's offered. Offered. I heard it's so much fun. That sounds really cool. Let's take. Let's hear more about it. This class is digital music production. In this class, we talk a lot about waves, amplitude, different things that go into like making music and the fundamentals behind it. We make podcasts, we learn how to make music tracks, and we're able to express ourselves creatively. The best part about this class is making a podcast. So Caroline and I actually made a podcast last semester. It's called Food Fight. It was really fun to make. We used accents, inserted clips from YouTube, like vines and just funny videos. Also, we made our own like soundtrack in the beginning and the end to kind of give it like our own little twist. Hey y'all, I'm Caroline. And I'm Brooke. And welcome back to Food Fight. I took this class because I kind of wanted to learn a little bit like how to work GarageBand. I really had no experience before this class and so like going throughout the class it was fun to learn like how to clip different sounds together, how to make sure they were on the right uh, counts because that's another thing that's used in music is like the counts to make sure that they all line up and it's musically correct. I've always been a little songwriter since I was a fetus. Also, I realized I really have an interest in like producing. Our podcast is called the P3P Cast. We actually have an Instagram, go follow it and don't bully us. I hope this class grows after we leave. So you guys should definitely join. Hey, Aubrey, did... I forgot what I was going to ask you. It's okay. Hey, that reminds me. Hey, Ashlyn. Hey, Aubrey. I've got a question of, of the week. week. Two, one, go. Gonna bring the flavor, show you how. Got a question for you, gotta answer now. Everybody, yeah, yeah. I gave up sweets. <laughs> For Lent, I decided to give up online shopping. I give up drinking sodas, and we're going good. So yeah. Um, I gave up attitude, but no one believes in me, so I also gave up social media. I'm trying to go to mass every morning at eight o'clock before I come to work. I think it's helping me tremendously. I gave up everything to drink except water. I'm going to try to pray more, specifically for Miss Rabelais' daughter, Millie. I gave up the Mount Carmel Cafe because I go there way too often. Everybody, yeah, yeah. Well, that's all we have for this week. We'll see you same time, same place next week. But remember, go out and make the news because the news is you. Oh,